Hey everybody, I wanted to revisit one of my old videos. So first of all, I have switched to Kester 186 Flux. Um, in my past video about the same subject, I used some really weird paste flux, which probably is okay, but I've come to really like this Kester Flux. It's no clean and it's uh, really sticky. But um, as you'll see in a little bit, I do clean it off anyway. So I'm going to start here by putting four TSOP48 chips onto the board. The flux, because it's really sticky, actually helps me keep it in place. It's a little bit hard to see in this video, but um, once you've got one end of the chip in place, if you press down hard enough, it'll sometimes stay in place as you try to move the other side. So you're just going to see me do this, the same process, with all four of the chips on this board. You're going to notice on the upper right corner of these chips, there are two pins that are shorted together. Now that's intentional, and I wanted to point that out because you're going to see that when I'm soldering later too. I like to use my finger to hold down one end of the chip and my tweezers to touch the other end of the chip into place. And honestly, this video makes it look a lot easier than it actually is. Um, I was doing a whole bunch of chips on the day I recorded this, so I had gotten pretty good at it toward the end. But, I mean, it does take a while to get it all, everything aligned into place. So the next thing I'm going to do here is tack down corners of all four of the chips. And I like to do the right, the rightmost pin of each chip on both sides. And you'll see here in a minute, the tip that I'm using is a hoof tip. Um, and it has a little recession in it to hold more solder. So all I'm doing is just trying to get solder onto one pin. Okay, I've got half of the board done, so now I'm going to spin the board around and do the other half. And perfect. So now that all eight corners of the chips are tacked down, I can actually do the drag soldering. But first I'm going to put some more flux on here. Now I don't always have to do this, but on these chips, I felt like it would be a good idea. Um, these chips had been out and kind of exposed to the air for a while. So I felt that the flux would help clean them off better. I was having a little bit of trouble getting the drag soldering to work until I started putting more flux afterwards. It just depends on the chip. So now I'm just going to put just a little bit of solder on my iron and I'll just drag, drag the iron across the pins and look at that. It's just no shorts or anything. It's just perfectly soldering each pin. I was a little uncomfortable with the amount of solder right there, but honestly it was fine. I was just being a little bit of a perfectionist. There, another perfect drag. And here I started running out of solder on my iron, so I had to put a little bit more on. 
you can just kind of tell when he's try when you try to drag and no solder comes off. And there we go. With more solder, it's perfect. And I got a little bridge there, but I could easily fix that with the iron. Okay, keep going. Yeah, I ran out of uh, solder again, so I got to put a little bit more on. So I don't know if any of you watched my previous video on this, you'll see that my technique is vastly improved now. Um, this is more typical for how easy it is to do drag soldering. On my previous video, I don't believe the flux that I was using was good enough, and I was putting way too much solder on my iron. Um, it also helps that I have this really nice microscope now. It makes it really easy to see things close. But yeah, I find it super satisfying just to watch the solder perfectly align itself. Uh, you can see that the alignment on that chip was just a little bit off, but... Um, and not enough to really be a problem. So after I solder all these, I do like to use 99% isopropyl alcohol anyway. I don't think it's necessary uh, to clean it off, but it sure makes it a lot nicer. And the flux is sticky, so cleaning it off with alcohol takes the stickiness away from the board. So I think it's a good idea to clean it. Um, it comes off pretty easily as long as you do it quickly after you're done soldering. Um, and it looks a lot better without that flux there. So yeah, I'm super happy with how these boards turned out that I soldered and um, I feel like it's a vast improvement over my previous video from years ago. And uh, if you're gonna trust any advice, trust the advice in this video, not my old video. Um, this has come a long way. Yeah, I got some flux on the board right here when I was uh, first putting the iron on there. So I just kind of scraped it off. Uh, and then the alcohol took it right off all the rest of the way. Perfect. So yeah, this is my improved advice on drag soldering. So use good flux, don't use too much solder, tack the pins down, and it'll, you'll be good to go.